Hey everybody, welcome to Medling World. Today, we're at the Magic Kingdom. It's August, it's hot, and it's Halloween snack time. Come on in, check it out. Guys, as we enter into the Magic Kingdom today, today is the first day of Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So, just for your information, if you are coming to visit Magic Kingdom on one of the party nights, it does close at six. As you can see here, hours for today. So no happily ever after, guys. Remember, if you are visiting Magic Kingdom on one of the nights of the party, there are no fireworks because it closes early. And speaking of that, we will be attending Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Uh, we're going to the second party. The first one is tonight, which is Friday, August 11th. Shout out to my dad. Happy birthday, dad, today, August 11th. My dad, just a young fellow like me looking good too by the way dad and uh we will be going on august 15th but that leads me to yes i said halloween snacks in august because look it is halloween in the magic kingdom roberta officially now yes and the pumpkins are up oh they are up on the lamp posts the mickey jack-o-lanterns are up last time we were here the decorations were up but not those love those so a cool thing about magic kingdom is and Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, there are exclusive snacks, Halloween yes. inspired themed snacks. Which we will cover. We're gonna cover <laughs> those snacks when we go to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween sure. Party. But yes. <clears throat> the nice thing about Magic Kingdom now, yes. up through Halloween, is you are able to come during the day and enjoy some snacks. Correct. So there are some snacks available, Halloween themed inspired snacks available for everybody, even yeah. if you're not going to the party. Again, certain ones only at the party and other ones that you can try just hanging out. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna try a few of those snacks, Roberta. Yeah. And we'll give you, uh, let you see what they look like. We'll try them. Uh, Jake's at school, by the way, anybody asking. So yeah. I'm off, Roberta got out a little early. We figured before we got Jake, yeah. Do a little vlog for you. So guys, speaking of that, please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. Thank you to every single person who has subscribed. I think first, Roberta, it's hot. We need a Starbucks? Yeah. Maybe they have a holiday Starbucks drink. Yeah. Let's go find out. We are getting a snack, uh, a drink I should say here at Starbucks, but I do want to show you that they do have that cinnamon roll kind of Halloween uh, style Mickey cinnamon roll, which looks, it looks good, but uh, it's probably not too bad, but I think we're going to skip that one for now, but one of the shows coming out of Starbucks. And if in case you're wondering, it's right across from the uh, Emporium, right on Main Street USA, if you've never been here before, but Roberta, yeah. I'm a little, I don't want to say disappointed, because <laughs> it is August, and Starbucks is a chain of yeah. Um, franchises all across the United States. No pumpkin yet. No pumpkin. No pumpkin drinks yet. So we could not get a holiday or a seasonal snack in there because we decided to pass Thank on you. the cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll, it's just like a yeah. different frosting. That's all That's what it all. is, yes. But what did we get? It's uh, mocha shake and espresso. And thank you for everybody that got us a coffee. Thank you. How is it? I haven't tried it yet, by the way. It's good. Yeah. Try. yeah, we'll try this, even though it's not a holiday, Halloween snack. Mm. Oh, it's good. It tastes almost like a fudgicle. Yeah, it does. Oh, that's nice on a hot day. Oh, delicious. All right, now we have to go find our first snack to try. Well, let's find out which one it's gonna be. So we just came out, I would say, I would say this is Frontierland, definitely, okay, because the theming changes very quickly as you come out of, right, at, uh, Adventureland, because this is still the Pirates theming here, and then boom. So the, obviously uh, the new, well, re-themed Splash Mountain right in front of us, which will be Tiana's Bayou Adventure. But we're at the Golden Oak Outpost because there is a Halloween snack here we want to try. I'm going to show it to you right now. It is right here, guys. The Tombstone Tart. Cakey pastry filled with strawberry jalapeno jam topped with vanilla 
buttercream sprinkles in sugar spiders. It looks cool. Let's have a try. Take a look at that, guys. I can't wait to try it because those ingredients sounded amazing. The jalapeno. Oh, yes. I like a little spice, if you know what I mean. And it looks really good. Feels pretty light, though. Let's try it. Ooh. First bite, it's not great. I do get a little bit of the spice from the jalapeno flavored jam. Eh, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to eat a little bit more before I can give you a review. Cause sometimes on the tarts, right? You see how they made, you know, they have to kind of close the sides up. So you don't always get a good good bite the first time. Although look at those teeth, Mark. This I can tell you is well it is one of the hottest days of the year these past few days. That is like liquid almost when you bite into it. Meet a little bit more and I'll come back to you. Let's see what Roberta thinks of it. Like I said, I need a couple more bites to really determine. What do you got, Roberta? As I can hear the train, the Magic Kingdom train going by. It's a little bit spicy, but it's not a lot. No, yeah, it's like a Just sweet a spice. Bit, yes. It's good. I like it. I think it's good. I, I I tasted a little bit of the the sweetness and a little bit of the spice. I like it. I think I like the tart. You think I'm, or you do? You said you think you like because, it. Because I'm not a big fan of spices like that. But like, what I'm going to say is I'll probably not buy it again. But it's enough for me to like, I will finish. Okay. I would give it like seven and a half. I notice you're holding that just like a piece of corn on the cob, Roberta. <laughs> oh, I heard a crunch. Oh, so the spiders are kind of crunchy. This is the buttercream anyway now with the sprinkles in the candy spiders. I did hear that snap. So that mm -hmm. that's staying pretty good in the heat. All right, I'll take another bite and I'll give you a little review. I'll give you what I think, but I do like, I do appreciate Roberta's very thorough review on that. I, I don't know if I'll have much, much, much to differ. Uh, I don't know if Roberta's review changed my mind, but as you can see, the more I started eating it, the more I enjoyed it. So I, th I, I think I kind of agree with Roberta. What, what really got me really liking it is after I took a couple more bites, small bites, <laughs> the tart, Excuse me, but it, it's hot guys. I do apologize if I'm sweating and I'm soaking wet with But I think what happened is the tart is really nice. It's not like a, a Didn't feel like it was stale or like, you know dry or anything and the jelly was so good But the, like I said the spicy it just it did throw me off a little bit. That's why I was like I think I like it because I do. Yeah, well, it's good I, I would give it if I wasn't gonna rank it. I'll give it an 8. I will I'll give it an 8 to 10 like I said, I don't think I'll be back to buy an egg and not one. Oh, it's but still it's good, good though. It was yeah. good. It was good to, to enjoy it, but there's so many that I wouldn't maybe necessarily say I don't know yet, but yeah. definitely good though. Let's find another one. Don't Let's try run. something else. I know I said we're trying to we'll go find another snack, but guys, look at this. It is it is not that busy here. You can see down through here. I mean there's people, but this is very slow day, so I'm thinking if you just want to come and enjoy the park, coming on one of the if you get if you got here like nine or ten in the morning, you can stay till six. Yeah. If you don't have a ticket. And then I'll hop. And then maybe hop to another park. If if you're on vacation, you want to see happily ever after. I would suggest don't come. If you want to see the fireworks. Yeah. But if you just want to hang out in a park, not very busy. I'll give you a little update. Maybe if we walk by an attraction or something, we'll see some wait times. But we're off to try another. Halloween snack. Just want to give you a little update on crowd levels. So now guys we arrived in hey bird No, I don't have anything for you. We arrived here at Liberty Square Market So as you're coming out of Frontierland or just past Hall of Presidents, you'll find Liberty Square Market, but this is where the I think it's called the black velvet whoopie pie, which we're gonna go try next Let's uh go ahead and check it out I know Roberta's loving doing this because she loves all these sweets. 
I like them, but I'm not like wicked crazy with eating all this sugary snacks, but I know Roberta just loves it. Yeah. So let's grab the black velvet whoopie pie. I'll show you what it looks like in a second, guys. Oh, there's Roberta. Didn't mean to cut you off. Here it is, the black velvet whoopie pie, black velvet cookies with buttercream, sprinkles and a sugar spider. So we get some more buttercream. We're getting another sugar spider. Oh, that looks that looks refreshing now, doesn't it? Let's try it. I do like the little sugar spiders. They look cool, Roberta. Yeah. And there you can see it, the black velvet whoopie pie. Let's get right into it. First thing I gotta say is, Roberta, I'm missing Jake today because yeah. he gives such great food reviews. Yeah, we're the parents that we love like when we don't have Jake with us at the parks, we're like, man, I miss Jake. But it is nice to hang out, kind of like a date, right? Oh, well, I lost the spider, but we already know what those taste like. I can tell you it's cold. It's cold, so it's... Mm. As it does kind of get on your fingers and stuff, just to let you know, but it, it is actually, I, I think I mentioned in line, right? I want to see if it's refreshing. It is because it's... It's nice and cool. It's all like cooled. It's not like been sitting out. Roberta, this is really good too. I mean, I would say I would repeat this one even with one bite. 8.5, hot day. It's very fluffy, good. And that cream is very, very refreshing. I did lose the little spider, but we already ate one of those. Less sugar, not so bad, but very good. 8.5, really like it. Roberta gets right into it without any hesitation. You can see, you see that, and it's not very big. It's not very big. That's two bites, it's almost gone. So value-wise, the other one's probably a little bit better for the same price, right? What are you thinking, though? It is good, it's fluffy. It's not a strong taste of it. It's more like... You would think they would have like a strong flavor. No, no, it doesn't. It's very light and it's fluffy. It's good. It I is agree. good. I think I would repeat this. I would. And Roberta was saying I would give it, it an eight. I'm sorry, Roberta. I would give it an eight. Yeah. Eight and I give it an 8.5. But like Roberta said, it doesn't have like a really fake taste to it, right? Yeah. You know that they. Light. It tastes real. It tastes yeah. like even though there's some there's some dyes and things in it. It's just basic, simple, and good. Mm -hmm. Definitely, that one I would repeat. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Maybe we have time for another snack. I think so. Let's do it. Stay hydrated, guys. Especially, I, I don't think the uh, espresso drink on a day like this is the most hydrating drink, so. You, you do a negative, you do a positive, right? That equals you out. That's what I always say. One negative, one positive. <laughs> guys, Haunted Mansion. Pretty much, uh, let's see, can I see the wait times from here, Roberta? I'm yeah. curious, because it just opened again. I'll get you an update. Oh, Roberta, 40. 40, 40 minutes. minutes, not too bad, actually. Uh, for an attraction that just reopened yesterday, right? Here we are, guys, at the Cheshire Cafe. And yes, more available snacks, Halloween-inspired, so far really enjoying these snacks. Let's see what we got here, Roberta. Queen of Hearts slushy, frozen cherry slushy, drizzle with black cherry puree, top with whipped cream and crown shaped chocolate piece. Oh, look at the crown, I like that one. And then the Witch's Cold Brew, French vanilla Joffrey's coffee, cold brew top with pumpkin spice foam and Halloween sprinkles. What do you think? Let's pick one out. Roberta holds it up. She's also taking a picture, which I will remind everybody. Follow us on our Instagram, Meddling World Instagram, Meddling World TikTok. We're starting to get a little bit more with those social media um, options as well, working on it. But we're actually going to find some air conditioning for a minute. It is beyond hot out here. Maybe we'll head into the Starlight Cafe and try it in there where it's nice and cool. Ah, Roberta, air conditioning. Yeah. I Anybody who's here on vacation this past week, Florida's hot in the summer, but this is beyond like what I've ever felt these past several days. But anyway, if you like cherry, look at all the cherry in there. And this is supposedly chocolate. Oh, that tastes good.
if anything, guys, it's just refreshing. It's it it tastes I say it tastes good because it does, but it's not like blowing me away good. It's just refreshing. It's not a strong cherry either, but there's supposed to be a little bit. The puree is up there. Let's try that. A little bit more cherry flavoring there. You can kind of maybe if you mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna let Roberta try the crown. I'll come back and let you know what I think a little bit more. I'll give it a rating for you. So what are you thinking, Roberta? I mix it up a little bit. I do apologize with the light, guys, yeah. but it's not bad. We can see it good enough. I mix it up a little bit. Yeah. So then I taste, I taste some cherry, but like I said, I mix it up. It's good. If you like cherry, yes. It's refreshing, too. It's refreshing. I don't think it's great. Roberta, could you try to crown for us? It's supposedly chocolate. So obviously a lot of coloring in that chocolate. Not the best. Not the best? No. It's like try. white chocolate, but it's not. Yeah, it's that that kind of chocolate where it's more, like more decorated. Yeah. Rather than taste. I'm just gonna say I think it's okay. It's not overpowering with cherry, but it is it does it's have refreshing. the cherry flavor. It's refreshing, it's hot. I'm just gonna give it though a seven. Just an average drink. And Roberta agrees with the seven. Okay, there you have the slushy. Roberta, one thing I will say is, if anything, very refreshing. Yes, it is. So with it being with that cherry slushy being so refreshing, I'm gonna bump my score to a seven point five. And I'm glad that they put not just all these guys. The thing is, it's a lot of sugar, right? I mean, yeah. so there's a limit to how much sugar I want to eat, which is, I've like quadrupled that. But um, the drink is nice because it's hot, right? This time of the year, and that's really refreshing. Yeah. So I do like that. Uh, there's a couple snacks we didn't get to, guys, because I am allergic to apples. Um, there's a apple churro, Roberta? Yes. And a uh, a milkshake, is it? It's salted caramel with the apple fritter in the top. So those two we skipped. Um, like I said, I have an allergy to apple, so maybe we'll try at least one of those at the party. Yes. You and Jake? One Jake is here, yeah. And then we'll have Jake's expert food reviews. We're going to check it out the confectionery and see if they have it. Let's just check here. Yeah, Main Street Confectionery. We want to see if there's anything in here. Actually, I'll just keep the camera going. And, of course, i got to show you one more time because, after all, it is... Halloween at the Magic Kingdom and I thought like Lowe's and Home Depot were bad when they started putting up Christmas decorations in September but I mean Magic Kingdom doesn't mess around let's see look at here Roberta already right here trick-or-treat definitely some inspired yeah that's Halloween that's the colors of the Halloween for Mickey's not so scary right yeah it looks like some rice krispies too so again theming big as you can see the different colors they're using this year that matches the m ms trick-or-treat so a couple of these let's see what else if we can find something else i'll see if there's anything else oh my gosh look it this is some of the merch though this has been out but you can find it here I know these. Ma, uh, Roberta. Roberta is like saying, Matt, Matt, Matt. I gotta go find what Roberta's talking about. Wow, we hit the jackpot for our Halloween snacks. Look at the mini apple. The witch. Look at and look at Mickey. I'll get there. Oh, there's an awesome one that I'm gonna show you in a minute. Look at a cupcake. Look how fancy that is. This is what Roberta wanted me to show you. Oh, look at that. Look at that Mickey apple there. That is amazing. Oh, look, the cookie. Wow, those are some really nice looking snacks. I do just like this candy apple. Doesn't that look good? I wish I wasn't allergic to apples so bad. I think that wraps it up for today. But just one more time, guys, please, if you're coming down. We just, you know, unfortunately, we saw something, an emergency just now because of dehydration. So, look, I'm a little shaken from it. It's real, man. Yeah. Please, guys, you know, and, and, and prayers out to the person that is not okay right now. So, as you can see here, we're going to help 
So take it serious if you're coming down in this heat. But we will be back, Roberta. Yes. For Mickey's Not So Scary. Tuesday coming up. And I think that, you know, now I just want to kind of end the vlog now. So guys, please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World. Thank you to our Patreons. And last but not least, see ya!